Being real summary, this one's joy. Part one, it turns out, as we kind of expected it to. We meaning me, because I said that at the very beginning of it, that I expected this to take a little bit more time. It was interesting because people were like, well, what about joy are we going to talk about? And I went, joy. I, there's not a specific, you know, and, and one of the reasons that uh, I went in with that approach is there are so many different ways that you can go with joy, as we kind of discovered as we were talking. And with this meeting, what we did is we went through, started just asking the question, what is joy? And it was awesome. Uh, I didn't have as many people. Some people weren't able to, to come, but uh, it was a small, small group. But the discussions were awesome. Uh, and everybody chimed in. We, we kind of went around, uh, effectively went around the room. And everybody gave their their uh, idea of joy and, and what it was and what their thoughts were. And we started that way. And without any, no guardrails, no, like, what does scripture say about it? Uh, none of that. And the reason we did that, the reason I wanted to do it that way, is to kind of help us work through not only what it is, but what it isn't. And if you come in with a full-on plan, lesson plan, and you're just going through a, a targeted thing, and I've said this before, but if you just go through, like, you know, have something in mind of how it's going to go, uh, you you don't realize all these different branches from something. So anyway, purposely went in with some very broad questions. And as we answered those questions, we came up with other questions. So I had five, four or five discussion questions kind of that I went in with. And I think we ended up with eight as we were talking, as I, it was kind of updating, because this question led to this question, and then we, we talked about this. And really, you know, what, what we did is we, we went through just the sharing and listening aspects of being real. We're going to get into scriptures next week. Uh, it's going to, going to be a continuation of the topic. So we were just working through joy amongst the people that were there and really having those very real discussions about what it is and uh, it was just a really cool experience and it, you know at one point one of the people was like that's why we do this we meet together in these small groups so we can get each other's perspectives so we can have these type of discussions. That's why it's so important that people get together and talk about this stuff and, and, aren't, and aren't afraid to do that. And, you know, you can find out more from each other than you ever can on your own. That was, that, that's not me saying that. That's someone in the group saying that. And, and it just was really cool. Uh, so if you missed it, you just get the summary. Sorry. Uh, but the good news is we get to follow up on the discussions going into next week. Also, as we went through this week, uh, I put in, uh, built in some videos that we watched. And one of the reasons that uh, we did that is, you know, asked the group last time, are there, is there anything that, that might help us? And some people really liked the, the video, and I, I expressed my concern if we watch a video that we're not going to really talk, you know, we're just going to watch the video. Uh, and that didn't happen, by the way. Uh, so. What we did is uh, put in, you know, a couple three-minute videos, a five-minute video, I believe, uh, a couple fives. And here's the thing. Those videos will be available on 122.us under the joy topic. So when you go there and you look at the joy page, it's not just going to be this video that you see. Thank goodness. It's also going to be the other videos that we showed in the discussions. And what I'm going to try to do is give a little perspective on each of those and kind of tell you which one to watch here, and you can pause one and play the other. I don't, we're yeah, trying stuff. So those are the things that we came up with as a group talking about joy. 
Now, after we had that open discussion, and, and re here's one of the things. Um, we started, you know, hey, I looked this up and saw this, and I, this is what this says here. And I really uh, reset it to tell me what joy is to you. I'm going to challenge you to do the same thing. Think about what joy is to you. Pause the video before you go on. Seriously, think about that. Okay, now, this is what we came up with. Do some of these connect with you? Is it a different perspective than maybe you had before? So we went through that, talked about it as a group, came up with what our versions, uh, what, what joy was to each of us, and then I played a couple videos. And the two videos, one was what is joy from the Yale uh, Institute of Faith and Culture. I think that's right. Anyway, it'll be the first one on the page underneath this one. So pause here, play that one. Okay, and after you play that one, the next one we played is the What is Joy, and it's from a UK church. Uh, the second one under here, so pause, play that one. Okay, so we looked at those and then we talked about all the different, what did we get from that video? Anything stick out to you? Uh, what, did, what did you think of uh, the way this person said it or that? And, and okay, did any of those connect with you? And once they're, they're start, you know, as you watch them, they're very different, you know, and, and that was intentional. Uh, as I was looking at some things, I wanted to get a, a broad range of what joy was without the lens per se of scripture and what is actually, uh, what's, what I, what's personal, a personal interpretation of joy by kind of throwing all this stuff out there. So what connected with you? What did it? Maybe it's some combination of all of them. So then we talked about the different uh, definitions of joy that were in those videos and, and how it's so different. Well, then we talked about why is it so different? Why, do, why are there so many different descriptions or definitions of joy? And then we talked about happiness and we started talking about, well, what is joy and happiness different? And that was kind of throughout, you know, at different times because you have to split those apart. They're not the same thing. Uh, it's very easy, and we discovered it's very easy to define what happiness is and what makes you happy. Much more difficult with joy and, and very different definitions. Pretty much we came up with this, it's kind of hard to describe joy. So again, we're still in just de defining joy. Uh, and, you know, of course, those discussions led to others and other questions and we, we kind of worked through. So it's a, it's a, it's a fluid thing. But some of the other questions, you know, one was, can you see joy in others? And, and again, we went through and, and well, is that happiness or joy? And, and how do you see joy? Is joy something that you see or is it internal? Is it an overall sense? If you have joy, are you negative? Is it possible to be negative? Those kind of things. And, and it's just looking at how does joy present? And here's another one. We, as we looked at all the different definitions that people had, including us, you know, all of our, I asked the question, what doesn't change about joy? If, if people have a different interpretation of what joy is, how they receive it, and there's a whole, you know, we went through a bunch of different it was great. A lot of back and forth. I mean, it was an hour and 45 minutes we were talking about joy. Um, just discussion. Just working through stuff and, and bouncing ideas off of each other. It was awesome. <clears throat> so the question was posed, what, if, if there, everything's that different, if joy is that different for every person, or could be, or how it's received, and then we had to kind of break that apart. Is joy actually different, or is how we receive it different, or is it just very hard to explain? So the question was posed, is there something that doesn't change about joy, that is consistent, 
regardless of people's interpretation of it, definition of it, how they received it. And we came up with this. The source of joy doesn't change. And the source is God. And joy is one of the fruits of the Spirit. And the Spirit comes from God, Jesus. So that really um, led us down another path. Okay, well, if joy comes from God, can somebody not, uh, somebody that doesn't believe or isn't following, can they feel joy? Is joy a thing? And then, you know, well, if it's through the Spirit, you know, someone else said, well, the Spirit, it's not that the Spirit's not in them or doesn't visit them because that's how people um, come to realize Christ as their Savior. The Spirit helps that happen. So it was just a whole bunch of, a uh, whole bunch of uh, good discussion about that. So as we're talking about all this and we're working through this, you know, we're talking about how it connects, uh, how the sources is God. It really kind of started separating happiness and joy from each other. And other things started to come into play, like peace and joy. Is, you know, that, and that was a discussion we had with peace and joy. You can't have joy without peace, can you? And looked at the, again, that pointed us back to the fruits of the Spirit. And we'll be going through that scripture verse, that scripture next week. But we had that discussion, and then I showed this next video, which will be the third one down underneath here, from a father, Mike Schmidt. Schmitz. You'll see. Uh, and it was a really good uh, explanation of happiness and joy. And basically, we had the discussion, then we watched the video. To, to see if it shed any more light, if we were on the right path, uh, just just looking for the, those different uh, different viewpoints, different ways of looking at things. And we watched that video. We ended up slowing it down. He talks pretty fast, so on YouTube you can slow down. You can go to like the settings and slow down how fast someone speaks or speed it up by going to settings and the video settings. And he, like 1.25 is 25% faster. I slowed him down to like 0.75. So he was 25% slower and raised up the volume to make sure we were catching. Hit pause on this video, watch Father Mike video uh, openly, and come back to this one and I'll explain some of the stuff we discussed. So we watched that video from Father Mike and there are some things that really resonated with the group. He's a very good speaker. He's... Um, we felt he, uh, he was a good speaker and he had some really good points, so we talked about his definition of joy, which you'll know what it is if you watch the video and wrote it down. Uh, and, you know, he also spoke about the uh, an atheist that converted to Catholicism and his definition of joy and what joy is. Not, maybe not his definition, but what it is to, to him. And those were really the two main points. You know, there was other things that were said that were very good. That, you know, the difference between happiness and joy, and we discussed that. Uh, but those were the two things we focused the most on, and we broke apart his definition of joy uh, that he had come across, and, and he stated it a couple different times. Uh, we had written it down and then made sure we understood what it was. And then we broke it down, because I think there was five words. We broke down a couple of those words you know, and abiding and pervasive, and then really, really talked about what those meant. Because even though it's a, it's a very succinct way to describe joy, but you have to understand what those words mean. And those words kind of blow up into other things. Uh, and I say blow up, but they, they, there's a lot involved in abiding and a lot involved in pervasive. So we kind of defined each of those and then looked at it as a whole, and it's a really good definition of joy. So it was a really good short description of joy that had a lot to unpack. And you have to go to scripture to unpack it, and we'll be doing that next week. One of the things that we discussed was, does joy, um, one of the questions that we kind of came up with is, does joy make you feel good?
or always make you feel good? And that was an interesting discussion. Because initially there, was, there were some that said, yes, you always feel good. And then we started talking about examples of joy. And this is where being real is being real. And a couple other examples that, that really were personal things. And that's why I don't put the, the, the videos out here for everybody to see. Because you're, you're having that intimate uh, you know, interaction with each other. So that's why this is just a summary. But, but I can tell you. We describe joy in people that have passed and, and know, being joyful that they are in a better place and that they're at peace, but it didn't make us feel good. So we had joy without feeling good, joy without happiness. Uh, so, and we didn't get there by reading what somebody else wrote. We didn't get there by going to scripture yet. Don't, don't, just going to scripture and reading what it wrote what it wrote, what it said, sorry. We got there by sharing and listening and just, I mean, being real. Like, it's joy a choice. Because there would be some things in the videos that you, you've seen uh, where they say you have to choose it or, or whatever the case may be, different different topics or different things that come up and that's we hit those uh, as we, we had a question well they, this one what does that mean or I don't know if I agree with that okay let's talk about it well, I don't you know what's what's bothering you uh, and it was interesting because you know someone else was like well I came in with this is my interpretation I never thought about it that way or I never connected it to that and I went well you're probably not alone. We're just kind of work, throwing the stuff out there and working through it collectively. That's what we're doing. That's what being real is meant to be. Uh, so we're just kind of working through it together. Everybody, you know, invests in what it is that we're trying to figure out. And that's why it's not a Bible study. It's, it's, it's a life study <clears throat> with biblical uh, foundations. So I, I actually made a joke about an hour and 20 minutes into this saying... We're on page one, which is discussion questions, you know, and as we were talking about it, it's like, hey, you know, we're all going to come away with something different, uh, pr probably. I mean, we're not trying to define the way, we're trying to define and understand joy. And to do that, we took into account what each of us said, and, and we're all going to take away probably something different, so we're not trying to have an answer we're trying to have an understanding maybe that's the best way to say it so it's we do share we'll listen sh share listen seek and apply so we got share and listen in this first part of joy next we could go into seeking through the word so we'll seek joy so look up joy going into next week different different uh, scripture verses about joy because we're we want to take what we discussed look at it through the lens of scripture make sure we're on the right track as we started working through those discussions things like is joy a choice well if joy is a choice then there is action you can take if joy comes from God there's probably a way to get more of it if you can define it so we spend a lot of time defining joy because if you don't if you have the wrong definition of joy if joy is happiness or if joy is a feeling or if it's a you know whatever it is if you can't define what it is you can't go seeking it and in this world especially now we all need more joy so focus very heavily on scripture and on the practical application, uh, practical things that we can do to have more joy. If it's possible, we're gonna figure it out. Maybe it's not, maybe it is. Speaking of which, faith in action item for the week. Create, there's only one, create a joy list. What's a joy list, Scott? Okay. I'm glad you asked. A joy list is a list of things 
that f fill you with joy. Now, there's no, it doesn't have to be a huge thing or a small thing. We're just looking at what gives you that sense of joy that you don't get from something else. That just gives you, that's beyond the happiness. That's just joy, it, that's harder to describe. And here's the thing, if you need to go back to the videos on what is joy, some of the stuff in there they describe, you know, it could be a simple, like I think a lollipop. The kid said joy was a lollipop or something like that. But there are different things in there and, and there's no wrong answer. I mean, just think through that though. Come up with a list, come in with a list of things that bring you joy. And toward the end, the last thing we did is we watched a video from the Bible Project about joy. This is another resource. I'm pretty sure it's on 122.us as far as uh, the in secret resources. If it's not, I'll make sure it gets there. But you'll see that video below here if you're looking at 122.us under the Being Real Ministry and Joy. Uh, you will see that video down at the bottom. It is. It was a way to kind of uh, whet the appetite of uh, what we're going to do going to Scripture. And it talks about joy throughout throughout scripture in a, like a five minute video. So watch that as well. And next week we're going to uh, get started right from where we left off with our discussions. We're going to review the faith in action item that we had for the week, which if you're planning on attending next session, please watch all the videos, do your faith in action items. See you then. Keep it real.